Thank you for staying with us. Now, four weeks after the killing of soldiers in Okwama community in Ugeli South, local government area of Delta State, South South Nigeria, one question that has been asked severally is what has become of the community and its people? New Central's correspondent, Austin Azu, in this report, brings us answers. His report. Fokados River, surrounded by arable land and water, is part of the Owo Kingdom in Ugele South local government area of Delta State. There is hardly any formal information on when and how the community was founded, but it has an estimated population of 500 adults who are predominantly engaged in farming and fishing. Its closest neighbors are Ijo speaking Okoloba and Akubene communities and robot town of Orere and Amasmo. After the widely condemned incident of March 14, which led to the death of 17 soldiers, those who fled the community in the aftermath of reprisal from the military are still in their hideouts, mainly in Tick Forest. Four weeks after, New Centra attempted again to see what is left of the community. The first effort on land meant a brick wall, as it was described as crisis zone. But this time, we captured the desolate community from the sky. Every building has been brought down completely, except a place of worship that is still standing. We could not differentiate which belongs to royalty or the commoner. Our same faith has befall all destruction. We then went in search of the people, though through the towns and villages and even on water. The search took us a few days until we are able to locate these 109-year-old women and others. We spoke with them at different locations. The centenarian told us how she was rescued with her daughter from the community by soldiers when they arrived to bond on the community. Others told us of their losses in human lives and property. They appeared to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Governor Sheriff of Borewari to prevail on the military to leave their community so they can return home to pick up the pieces of what is left of their lives. The girl born and only this is about nine months from her. I know she was a doll. This is about the days where I did first. I know we forget them because I did and get only here. I know only this is what they come out. The law allow me. My phone self tell you where they are top man. They are both deform. I said that they call my car and put run. They burn everything. Both to rapper, both to my sister, both to my husband. But party where they never share self. They burn all of them. Really know what did happen. We beg government. I beg the government here. Our cry. To restore the community back again, I beg government, I beg. We get old women, when they don't enter bush, most of them, some of them, they treat themselves, they are nowhere to be found, to eat now become problem. Everything they expensive for the Nigeria economy now. Make government fisty call us back. If maybe now the small cassava we get for bush where they're not born, more fisty, they are very those one. They survive. Now, hungry can't they would they kill the few people who remain for the community. I beg, make government hear our cry. Within the last four weeks, various groups and individuals have demanded justice for the 17 slate soldiers, urging the authorities to fish out the actual culprits and let the laws of the land take its course. Eight persons were declared wanted, among them a traditional ruler who handed himself over to authorities. At the same time, military search for suspect has not abated. The concern now is that with every passing day, the pain borne by the innocent, worsened by homelessness and deprivation, is made heavier. In Ugele, Delta State, for New Central, I'm Austin Azu.
My colleague joins me now, Austin Azu, um, who uh, presented that report. Thank you very much, Austin, for that very detailed update on what is happening with Okwama community. You're, you're, I'm particularly interested in your drone footage, which showed that, I mean, looking at that, one would say it contradicts the assurances from uh, President uh, Tinubu that there will be no reprisals. What are the likelihood that these people will ever return to the life that they once knew? First, good evening, Felicity. Well, from the footage and from the video we saw this evening, it tells the whole story, just like what happened to the Israelites in the Holy Bible after their wars were destroyed, the wars of Jerusalem. So it's going to be very difficult for these people 